Oak jigsaw coasters as we know them today have been protecting those precious tabletops for many years. Designed over a decade ago, the coasters were originally handmade using nothing more than a small fret saw. Today, using 21st century technology, the process is made much more simpler. The jigsaw pieces are designed using what's known as a CAD CAM software and is a process that allows you to design a product on the computer and the software will convert the image into a code that can be read by a machine to control an automated router, more commonly known as a CNC router. When programmed correctly, the software creates a 3D model of the design, which can be viewed on the computer and gives the user an accurate representation of what the finished piece will look like. Once the user is happy, the program can be saved to a USB drive and taken to the CNC machine ready for manufacture. These jigsaw coasters are to be made of prime grade quarter sewn oak, ensuring quality, stability and durability. The selected board is cut to length so it fits on the CNC machine. The board is then planed to the desired thickness as requested by the customer. Holes are then drilled into the oak so it can safely be secured to the CNC machine. CNC machines come in all shapes and sizes, but a good quality machine will last many years. The oak is fixed to a sacrificial board so as not to damage the bed of the CNC machine when the cutter is operating. The centre of the board is marked out to give a point of reference for when the CNC router is switched on. A USB stick with the appropriate program code is inserted into the machine and then it's powered up. The operator manually guides the router to the reference point so the machine knows where to start cutting from. A dust hood is then fitted to the machine and then connected up to an extractor to remove the wood chips from the spinning cutter. The machine takes just a few minutes to cut the courses from the piece of oak. The board is then removed and the piece is quality checked by the operator. Holding tabs prevent the jigsaw pieces being ejected when cut by the router and are removed using a hacksaw blade. What's left of the tabs after cutting are removed by the belt sander. A small round over router cutter puts a nice smooth edge on the courses before they are checked for fitting. These courses are a little tight. So they get a quick pass on the spindle sander ensuring a perfect fit when finished. The coasters are then hand sanded and cleaned using a dedicated soft vacuum brush. Finally a couple of coats of oil are applied to give long lasting protection to the coasters. Making jigsaw coasters. Not so puzzling after all.
Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy, I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically for many employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interests and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there is additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize rolls open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels, or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels, and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support.